Today I'd like to share with you some information about the largest sea star here in Southern California, the Sunflower Star. If you break down its scientific name, the first part of its genus is Pycna, which means thick or dense, and Podia, which means foot. Breaking down the species, we have Hili, which means sun, and Anth, which means flower. So really the scientific name for this animal could be the thick or dense footed sunflower. This name is really appropriate because as you can see, with its many arms, it does look like a flower. When sunflower stars are in their juvenile stage, they start out with only five arms. Then as they grow, they continue to add more arms. Full grown sunflower stars can have as many as 24 arms, and then grow up to be one meter in diameter. The dense footedness of this sea star refers to the fact that it has as many as 15,000 tube feet that it uses to move along the sea floor at speeds up to one meter per minute, which for a sea star is pretty fast. This sea star is a fierce predator that eats pretty much anything in its path. Common prey includes clams, urchins, snails, abalone, sea cucumbers, crabs, and even other sea stars. Sun star skeletons are flexible enough to allow them to engulf an entire urchin completely, which it digests internally and then spits out the urchin's test, or shell, when it's done digesting it. I've also read that sunflower stars can come in a wide variety of colors, such as brown, purple, orange, yellow, but the only color that I've seen personally in this area is this purple color. The white dot on the back of this sea star is called a madreporite. Its function is to filter and bring in water to be used in the sea star's water vascular system. The water vascular system is what drives the tube feed. Here's something interesting to think about. Sea stars have no brain, but they're able to sense light and dark through light sensitive spots on the tip of each of their arms. They're also able to sense whether or not they're upside down. They're able to smell and locate food. And in the case of the sunflower star, they're able to simultaneously control 15,000 tube feet. And this is all done by nerves alone, no brain, or even ganglia. If attacked, sunflower stars have the ability to shed its arms, which, like all sea stars, is able to regenerate uh, those lost limbs within a few weeks after losing them.